These mountains are absolutely gorgeous. Oh my gosh. We're out here watching the sunset. So we are currently on the road to Alamosa, Colorado. Um, we're heading down there for one night. We have a hotel that my dad got. Um, and then we're gonna, I think we're gonna hang out with some people. Um, and then the next day we are going to be heading even further south down to um, Angel Fire, New Mexico because we have heard from rumors that they are open right now. So um, we're gonna shoot our shot and try our best to um, get down to Angel Fire because it's kind of like an hour by hour thing. A lot of resorts are um, making decisions about whether or not they want to close like literally by the hour. Um, right now Taos is closed which is about three hours away from Angel Fire so three miles. oh three miles oh god okay well even closer um, and yeah so chances are um, the Angel Fire website says that they're trying their best to stay open which is what like every single resort in Colorado said before they all shut down um, but fingers crossed um, I'm hoping, hoping, hoping that we can get some skiing in tomorrow. Also, tomorrow is Barker's birthday, so very exciting. We've just been chilling in um, Littleton, Colorado, like East, East Denver area for um, the last few hours. We got some Shake Shack, um, which was freaking delicious. Shake Shack, if y'all don't know, is like definitely a Dallas thing, um, and I've been missing it a lot. Um, and it's mediocre, it's not that good. But I got a tasty shake and some mediocre fries with some tasty shack sauce, and that fulfilled me. I'll keep y'all updated about what is freaking going on, but yeah, best of luck so that we can get some actual snowboarding in tomorrow. So we are currently about two hours and 15 minutes away from, um, from the hotel now. We just took a little bit of a break and to get some gas and I got some ice cream from a small Asian restaurant. So um, I, I don't know, it was, it's pretty okay. It's like not the best ice cream, but it's definitely not the worst. So um, not horrible. Um, I'm really excited to get to the hotel. I took like a 40 minute nap just now and we were driving through like these gorgeous mountains and my fr I woke up after like 20 minutes and my ears like cracked. It was so bad. My ears popped so bad. Um, but it's really cool right now. We're, we're driving through a part of Colorado that my family and I used to come through um, on like little family trips up here. So um, it's nice and nostalgic. Um, yeah, currently looking at some beautiful mountains and a weed store. Oh my god, it's so pretty. These mountains are absolutely gorgeous. Oh my gosh. We're out here watching the sunset. We're stopping here a little bit on the way over because um, we had a little bit of a bump in our plans. Um, like the third place that we got rescheduled to go to w w is closed down now. Um, so we're kind of just soaking in the scenery while, um, while we wait to head home. Um, we're thinking that we will head home kind of soon. So it's a little bit disappointing, but for now we get some beautiful mountain scenery. Barker's currently pissing by the car which I believe is illegal, but um, we're in the freaking mountains and there's no laws in the mountains, baby. This lighting is, looks so scary. It makes it look like I have like really big bags under my eyes. I think Barker's taking some glamorous shots of his truck because um, I think he cares about his truck more than anything else. But don't tell him I said that. <laughs> said what? I didn't say anything. <laughs> Ready for some off-road shots? I sure am. <laughs> Oh 
Oh my god, no, I do not. I cannot do that. Another two hours. Holy fuck, no. Yeah, no, I was like counting down the time that it took us to get here, and it was like every five minutes I checked how far we had gotten, and the news flash, you don't move very far in five minutes, so. Seven and a half hours. But we're finally at the hotel. No um, skiing, though. No skiing, sadly. Um, the place we were gonna go skiing in New Mexico, Angel Fire, closed. So, no skiing, sadly. Um, the plan right now is to kind of wait on what the school says about whether we can stay in the dorms or not, or whether we're gonna be um, doing online classes for the rest of the year. And um, if either of those is happening, then we're probably just gonna drive back to Texas from here because Texas is only about eight hours away. Um, the only issue is that my my PC is in my dorm, but um, I can either like have someone ship it to me and pay someone like 30 bucks to do it, um, or I can like use one of my parents' computers at home which would arguably suck really bad. Okay, that's, I don't think that's, <laughs> that's possible. Not Never mind. Never mind. But, um, yeah, or we could drive back up, and it's like it's like a four-hour drive back to Fort Collins. So, for now, I think tomorrow we're going to go check out the sand dunes for a little bit and then, like, see what the news is in the morning. Um, because, like I was saying a little bit earlier, it, a lot of stuff that's happening is just hour by hour right now, so... There's no way we can really make any clear plans because everything changes, like, between the hour. Um, there is a new CDC update today where the CDC is recommending that gatherings of 50 or more people are um, either postponed or canceled, which makes it pretty likely that they're going to shut school down um, or at least move classes online for the rest of the year. And at that point, it, like, I would rather be quarantined in my house um, than, like, in my dorm. So, um, at that point, we're just gonna, we're just gonna head back to Texas. So, might be making a little eight-hour road trip kind of soon. Oh, I don't know. I want to go swimming. Swimming? Yeah, I want to go hot tubbing really bad. I want to fucking go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get a nap the whole way here. <laughs> I only nap for 40 minutes. Uh, tell yourself that. You took like five different naps. No way. I took like two 20 minute naps. <laughs> I should have taken a video of you. And then slammed on the brakes going like 80 miles an hour and just watched you like fly through. <gasps> My dad used to do that to me though. Whenever we were driving to school, he would just like brake really hard to wake me up. <laughs> Or do that to people when they aren't wearing seatbelts. Dude, I woke up to Barker like, I don't know if Barker was like laughing at me while I was sleeping or not at one point, but I feel like he was and then I woke up because I was sleeping like, like I was like dead because I don't know, it's hard to hold your neck still when you're sleeping. Maybe I don't want to go hot tubbing and I'd have to shower. That'd be like two hours. But got to see some really pretty mountains today and the, the drive here was gorgeous. Um, it honestly wasn't that bad. I got a little bit cranky towards the end because um, I was hungry, but I just wolfed down a Big Mac in like literally two minutes. So I am full and content now. 